Ladies and gentlemen, I have been on this planet for 17, almost 18 years, and I have supported the Knicks for my entire lifetime. And in that time, I have found out that there are only three things I can count on in life. Death, taxes, and the Knicks front office making bonehead moves. Let's start with Julius Randle last season. I thought he was going to be the guy to save our franchise, just like most of the rest of the fans did. We thought that he was going to be the one to lead us to the playoffs, to the promised land. Leading the Knicks to the playoffs is no easy feat, especially recently. So we signed him to a four-year, $117 million deal, and I was excited. But Julius Randle has proved this year in the first year of his new contract that he is not the one to lead us to the promised land. He can't lead a team. He's a locker room cancer. Right now, he just doesn't have what it takes to lead the team. But you can't dump him because you put him on a massive contract that he's not worth. So what do you do? You surround him with star players, right? Wrong. You don't put any pieces around Julius Randle if you're the next front office, I guess. Instead, you go to draft night, you trade away all your picks for future picks, and now you have, ooh, 22 picks in the next seven years. Great. What do you have now? An overpaid superstar who isn't playing basketball at the level you need him to. So free agency now. You want to trade away Nerlens Noel, Alec Burks, two of those 22 picks, and an additional $6 million to clear up cap space so that you can sign Jalen Brunson to an expected $110 million deal? It, it makes no sense. Jalen Brunson is not the guy who's going to lead the Knicks either. They need an actual leader. They need to get rid of Randall. Forget this Brunson crap. Sign pieces to put around Randall or RJ and actually lead the Knicks to the playoffs to be a respectable team again.